what's that correlation there? What's happening in the body? Because inflammation, um, we, we need it. It helps the body heal at a certain, uh, certain point, but it's, it's the long-term inflammation that really it could wreak havoc. Absolutely, it affects any great number of our systems. And, and really, in order for a nerve to hurt, there has to be some degree of inflammation involved. That's why the non-steroidal medications or the steroids are effective. If somebody has pressure on a nerve and the non-steroidal makes it better, it didn't take the pressure from the nerve away, it simply addressed the inflammation. And, and so inflammation plays a huge role in, in what we experience. Um, and in a number of uh, patients who have stressful jobs or, or chronic conditions, that inflammation is increased and, and really everything in the body is exacerbated by that sort of unchecked inflammation. But specifically when we're talking about nerves, if we can arrest, if we can get rid of the inflammation around the nerve, typically the pain will go down. Right, and you mentioned something interesting, stress and inflammation. Is there a correlation there between leading a stressful life or being stressed all the time and that causing inflammation in your body? There absolutely is, and, and it really causes the endocrine system to run a bit rampant. Um, it can affect appetite, mood, body composition, really everything, and uh, we are deeply affected by, by our hormonal system. So dealing with stress, and dealing with stress in a, in a healthy way is, is important. Uh, not just for your overall well-being, but but also for your back. Uh, people who are under a lot of stress, anxious, depressed, will feel greater pain than when they are not experiencing those emotions. And and Dr. Gottlieb, how important is nutrition to bone health? It, it's absolutely essential. Uh, bone health is something that's a function of of again genetics, um, diet, activity, and and getting enough sunlight. And interestingly enough, even, even in South Florida, we have a tremendous number of people who are vitamin D deficient despite the strength of our sun because we all tend to put on number 50 sunblock before we go outside. Uh, but, but there's no substitute for a good diet. And you want to have a diet that's rich in fruits and vegetables, uh, healthy meats, fats, and, and avoid tobacco, excessive alcohol, and, and even excessive caffeine, which does sort of have a, a leaching effect on some of the bone mineral density.